in today. Okay, when did those symptoms start? Did you take anything at home? Okay, so just some Tylenol, a fever. Did that bring the fever down at all? No. Okay, we'll check it. Check it here. Okay. So, some shortness of breath, too. Do you have any history of asthma? No asthma. Are you a smoker? You do smoke? What do you smoke? <laughs> yeah, you have to ask that. Okay. How often are you smoking? Okay. Have you considered quitting? I know it is a very hard thing to quit. I understand we can give you some um, information on smoking cessation if you want. But uh, for right now, so having trouble breathing, do you wear oxygen at home normally? No. Okay. Any breathing treatments that you take at home? No breathing treatments, no inhalers, anything like that. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Not that you know of. Okay. Alright, so we got the fever and shortness of breath. Okay. So I'm going to borrow your finger. I'm going to put this pulse ox on you. It's going to be plug into our monitor so we can see a little bit better about your vital signs, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Give me a finger. Good. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. Where's my blood pressure cup? Here we are. Let's go ahead and take your blood pressure. Can I get your arm? Thank you. Okay, let's hook that up. Our monitor. There we go. Okay. Alright, so your oxygen's a little bit low. We'll put a little bit of oxygen on you. Um, heart rate looks stable. Blood pressure is reading right now. I'm going to take a listen to your lungs, okay? So, just take some nice deep breaths for me, okay? Breathe in. Good. Breathe in. Good. Again. Okay, so I am hearing a little bit of um, music, as I like to call it. You're a little bit wheezy, so I'm going to um, assign uh, breathing.
breathing treatment to you. You're gonna be getting it every four hours, okay? The respiratory therapist is gonna be the one delivering that to you and they will explain it all in more detail, okay? But it's just gonna help open up your lungs so that you're breathing a little bit better, okay? We'll get some Tylenol on board for that uh, fever. We're also going to run some labs, so let me get this ready. So, I'm going to do two swabs that we're going to send down to get tested. Okay. So the first one is still COVID. We gotta make sure it can go in the nares. Are you ready? I know it's a little painful. One, two, three. Good. Other side. One, two, three. Good. Put that in there. The next one we're gonna, I'm gonna have you open your mouth and I'm gonna swab the back of your mouth, okay? One, two, three. Swab. Oh, I know. Kinda. Kinda wanna make a face after that, don't you? That's okay. Okay, so everything looks good, vital signs, blood pressure is okay. Maybe just a little bit elevated, but nothing to be too concerned about. Would you mind sending that down the lab when you get a chance? Thank you. Okay, so let me um let me just make a note that we're going to add some breathing breathing treatments and we'll see how that does okay any history of drug use besides the smoking mm -mm. any history of heart disease or CHF no okay Anything else that you can think of that might be related to your symptoms? Okay. Okay. I'm also going to draw just a little bit of blood, okay? The nurse is going to um, work on getting an IV on that arm, alright? I'm going to just draw just a little bit. We're going to send it down. I just want to get some cultures and things done so we know what we're dealing with. Could just be a little bit of, um, you know, it's been very, very humid here and uh, sometimes that can play a role in your breathing. So, okay, hold out your arm for me, please. Thank you. Go one, two, three, big poke. Good. Excellent. All right. Okay, we're gonna also send that, please send that. Thank you. Down to lab for me. Appreciate that. Okay, so I think for right now I'm just gonna do two more little tests and then I'm gonna let you sit and um, the respiratory therapist will come and do some treatments and then we're just gonna hang tight and wait um, on the lab results, okay, to go forward okay, I want to see if your body responds to breathing treatment mm, might give you some steroids too okay, so I want you just to follow this tip with your eyes, okay Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Okay. Alright, and then open the back of your mouth. I want to take a little peek. Okay. Alright, sweetheart. So hang on tight, alright? I'll be back with you to check back in later. Okay, okay. It was nice to meet you. Okay, 
Hi, how are you feeling? I see. Okay. Um, let's get some oxygen on you a little bit more, all right? Your, um, your oxygen isn't quite as high as we'd like to do it, so I'm going to put this mask on you, okay? This is called a non-rebreather. It's just going to help you get even more oxygen to your lungs, okay? Here we go. Okay. Will you open this up, please? Thank you. Okay. Let me take another listen to your lungs. Well, your lungs are sounding extremely congested now. They weren't before, so um, we might be um, putting something called a BiPAP machine on you. I'm going to have the respiratory therapist draw a little bit of blood. It's called an ABG. We just want to make sure that um, you're oxygenating and ventilating properly. Right, so your lungs are taking in the air, but sometimes it gets stuck and we can't exhale. That's ventilation, so um, we're gonna draw some blood. Check to make sure that's okay. In the, um, in the case that you're not oxygenating and ventilating properly, are you okay with us putting a tube down your throat and putting you on a ventilator for a time being. Yes, that would be life support. Yes, it is It is a big deal, but um, we don't always, not always an end of life thing. We do it all the time for immersion situations and people are able to get off of it. Yes, they're able to get off the ventilator. Okay. Okay. So, we'll, uh, we'll get that blood and we'll see where we stand, okay? Okay. You're working a lot harder to breathe, I can tell. Yeah. Like, all your vital signs, your oxygen was lower, your heart rate is much higher, your blood pressure is soft, so we just really, um, need to make sure that we're not going in a bad direction. I will be right back, all right? Hang tight. Hi. So we're going to be intubating you, okay? Our tea's right here at bedside, the nurse is right here. Okay. Respiratory therapy. Yep. Yep, okay, we are ready to go. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I've drawn up. The medication is gonna just help you sleep, okay? So we're gonna put you right to sleep. We're gonna put you on the ventilator, all right? Until we can uh, figure out what's going on and get you better, okay? All right, push in. Good, pushing syringe in and... Flush. Okay. And so I think it's safe to say he is going, going, gone. And he's asleep. Perfect. Respiratory, can you hand me the tube, please? Thank you. Alright. Perfect. All right, secure the tube. And respiratory, can we put him on rate of 16, tidal volume 500, peep of 5. And let's go ahead and start at 100% oxygen. Feel free to titrate. Repeat ABG in one hour, okay, to see what his oxygenation and ventilation settings are, and we'll go from there. Good work, team. Hi. 
Hi, you look so much better. It's been quite a journey for you. I'm sure you have lots of questions for me. Um, we've made it through the, uh, the hard times, okay? So everything looks so much better. Your body just needed some time to rest, okay? You had some fluid in your lungs that we have now given Lasix and with the ventilator support we've pushed that fluid out, okay? You've peed it all out. Um, so I am going to give you a diagnosis of CHF. We'll talk about that in a minute, okay? Let's get that tube out of your mouth. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Just not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, in order to get that tube out of your mouth and take you off the ventilator, we've got to do a couple quick tests. Okay, so on the end of that tube that's in your throat, there's a balloon and there's this little cord. You can't see it. I'm grabbing it right here. You can't quite see it, but I'm going to attach this to it and I'm going to pull the air out of that balloon. So that's going to create a leak in your throat. I'm going to listen carefully to hear what we call a cuff leak. We're going to listen for the air going around that balloon that is now deflated, okay? This is just to ensure that there's no swelling that has happened and so when we pull the tube you'll be able to breathe, okay? So, that's test number one, okay? You ready? You ready? Okay. One, two, three, pull it back. There we have it. Okay, pushing the air balloon back in. Perfect. So, you have passed test number one. Congratulations. So, test number two. Um, there's three, but uh, it's really only two things that you have to do that early. And I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in, okay? So, we're looking at two different things right now. I'm gonna be looking on the ventilator and seeing how big of a breath you can take and how strong you can suck in, okay? So the respiratory therapist over there is going to hit a button and it's going to measure those two things. So we're going to take three big breaths in, okay? The first one, we're going to focus on how big it is going to be. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Fill up every inch of your lungs. Good. Excellent. Good job. That's a wonderful number. So that's test number two. Now, same thing, you're going to take a deep breath in, but instead of thinking of how much you can expand, we're going to think of how hard you can pull that air into your lungs, okay? Are you ready? Good. RT. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, you're ready to get this tube out. All right. Got a little bit of oxygen hooked up. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Vitals are good. Pass all three tests. You're ready. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing where I attach this and I'm going to pull that air out. It's going to make you cough like it kind of did earlier. Um, when I pull that tube, I'm going to want you to cough. Okay, so I'm going to pull the balloon. And then I'm going to pull the tube and I want you to cough because you're going to have some sputum or secretions in your throat and we just want to get those out. We don't want you to suck in and put them further into your lungs, so cough out. Okay? Nod. Good. You understand? Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Pulling the air out. Good. And one, two, three. 
cough, 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 good, 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 cough, 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 excellent, let's get that oxygen on you, alright, what do you have them on, four liters, okay, that sounds good, good, alright, I want to hear you say your name, So your throat's gonna be sore for a while, that's perfectly normal. Also, we can't give you anything to eat or drink for a little bit, all right? This uh, throat has gone through quite a bit, and so your swallowing mechanism um, is gonna need some time to recover before we start giving you anything to drink. Um, in a couple hours, you can maybe give them some ice chips, but not too many. Um, let me take a listen to your lungs. Make sure everything sounds good. I listen to your throat. oxygen, your lungs are sounding clear, there's no um, sign of inflammation right here, which is good, we don't want that airway closing up, right? So that looks good. Okay, fantastic. I know that was really scary, that whole process. We're gonna continue giving you breathing treatments. You've been getting them the past day while you've been on the ventilator. We're still going to continue those for a while, and uh, I can go over some other medications. Actually, I'm going to defer to the nurse at this time and step out, but do you have any questions for me? You've made it through the worst part, okay? You're going to be home real soon. Okay. Okay. It was lovely um, taking care of you. <laughs> I'm sorry this had to happen, but you're on the road to now, so congratulations. Okay, thank you so much.